Bhagavad Gita, verse 4.29 Others, who are steadfast in controlling the life force, pranayama, offer the upgoing breath, prana, into the downgoing breath, apana, and coversely offer the downgoing breath into the upgoing breath. Having stopped both the upgoing breath and the downgoing breath, they dedicate themselves to controlling the various life airs. Others, while checking the eating process, offer their upgoing breath into downgoing breath itself as a sacrifice. Sardvarshini Some yogis who are devoted to the control of their life heirs sacrifice the upgoing breath, prana, into the downgoing breath, apana. This means that at the time of inhalation they combine them. Similarly, at the time of exhalation they offer the downgoing breath into the outgoing breath, and as they hold their breath, they stop the movement of both the upgoing breath and downgoing breath and become fixed in the practice of pranayama. Others who want to control the senses sacrifice their senses into their life airs by moderating their food intake. The senses are under the control of prana, the life airs. When the life air becomes weak, naturally the senses also become weak and unable to enjoy their sense objects. In this way, these persons offer their disabled senses into their life air, living only on their life air. Sardvarshini Prakashikariti Astanga Yoga, the eightfold path of yoga, is being explained in more detail. Yogis sacrifice the upgoing breath into the downgoing breath through inhalation. In other words, as they inhale, they combine them. Similarly, as they exhale, they offer the downgoing breath into the upgoing breath, and as they hold their breath, they stop the movements of both the upgoing and downgoing life airs. The word pranayama has two components. Prana means a special type of air, and ayama means expansion. Here, expansion means to control the prana, life air, from the tip of the toenails to the hair on top of the head. In Garuda Purana it is said, Pranayamo Maruj Yajaha. To control the prana is called pranayama. Therefore, pranayama means expanding prana for the purpose of controlling the activities of the senses. Similarly, Srimad Bhagavatam 11.15.1 explains, When a person controls his senses and his breathing process and fully absorbs his mind in me, all the mystic perfections naturally come under his control. For more information on this subject, readers should study the book Prema Pradipa by Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur. The Smritis describe sacrifices such as Dravya Yagya, offering material possessions in charity, Tapo Yagya, performing difficult austerities, Yoga Yagya, performing the Eightfold Process of Astanga Yoga, and Svadhyaya Jnana Yagya, studying the Vedas to acquire knowledge, while the Tantra Shastra describes Hatha Yoga and various other types of vows for controlling the senses. However, the best type of sacrifice in this Kali Yuga, when people have but short lifespans and very little intelligence, is the natural and easily perfected Sankirtan Yagya, the chanting of the holy names. Not only every human, but every living entity has the right 
to perform Sankirtan Yagya. Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Eva Kevalam, Kalo Nas Deva Nas Deva Nas Deva Gatiranyata, Priyat Naradiya Purana. In this age of quarrel and hypocrisy, the only means of deliverance is chanting the holy names of the Lord. There is no other way, there is no other way, there is no other way. This is also explained in Srimad Bhagavatam 11.5.32. Krishna Varnam Vishakrishnam Sangopangashtra Parashadam Yajyehi Sankirtana Prayer Yajyantihi Sumedasaha. By performing the sacrifice of the chanting of the holy names, intelligent persons worship that personality in whose mouth the two syllables Krish and Na are dancing, whose bodily color is like brilliant gold, and who is surrounded by his associates, servitors, weapons and confidential companions. <laughs> 